Hey Genesis family, hope you're having a great uh, day on this uh, chilly um, Thursday afternoon. Uh, when I was younger, I used to love cold weather. Now that I'm getting older, I have very much adopted the mindset that if it's going to be cold, it needs to snow. Um, I don't know about any of you, but I'm quite jealous of the folks um, up in northwest Oklahoma who got massive amounts of snow um, yesterday and this morning. Um, I, I love snow, um, but if it's going to be cold, it needs to snow so we can have at least have some fun in the midst of it. Hey, I just want to touch base with everybody. It's been a while um, since we kind of reached out in this capacity. We hope things are going well um, with you and your family. We hope that you had a great Thanksgiving. Um, hope that you're looking forward to a festive uh, Christmas season with your friends and family. Um, I know we're geared up um, hard and heavy here at Genesis. Uh, my wife and some incredible ladies um, did a great job of decorating the church this week, um, kind of gearing up for the Christmas season. We kicked off a brand new series last week called Peace Has Come um, as we kicked off this season of Advent. Um, hey, I just wanted to touch base on a couple things. I know uh, many of you are likely concerned about the uptick in coronavirus cases um, locally and just hospital systems beginning to be overwhelmed. Um, I've, I've even read just in the last couple of days of three area churches, very, very close um, churches in proximity to us that have had to go back um, online only for a time, either because a number of staff had COVID or a number of people in, the, in their church families had COVID. Um, so we understand all of the concerns about that. And I don't say that to, uh, to frighten anybody or to doom and gloom uh, the scenario. Um, but we want you to know that we're still doing everything that we can uh, to provide a safe environment week, at, week in and week out uh, for you and your family to worship, just deep cleaning every week uh, between uses, um, trying, continuing to do social distancing. Um, we encourage masks, and I've noticed more and more so over the last few weeks that more people are wearing masks, and we totally encourage that. We don't mandate it um, because we are taking uh, social distancing efforts to, to keep people that are not in the same family groups separated. Um, so we're still trying to do everything we can to find that balance of being able to meet um, and celebrate together and yet still trying to do our best to keep people safe um, in this environment. For those of you that are continuing to worship with us online, man, we, we appreciate that. Um, we love you guys. We miss seeing you on a week-to-week -week basis. Um, we totally understand. Um, we want you to know if there's anything that we can do, man, do not hesitate to reach out. Um, you can reach us at prayer at mygenesis.tv with any physical needs, um, any prayer needs, anything that we can do to support you in this season. We don't want you to feel alone. We don't want you to feel isolated um, in this season. We want you to know that even though you may be out of sight from us on a week-to-week -week basis, you're not out of mind. Um, and if there's anything we can do for you, we're here to do it. So uh, we are gearing up for an incredible uh, Christmas celebration on December the 20th. Um, next week, we're going to send out a link asking you to register either for our 9 o'clock our 11 o'clock or our worship at home experience. And even if you choose to worship at home with us um, on our Christmas service, we still want you to register um, that you are worshiping from home because we've got a goodie bag um, that we're going to we're going to get to you before um, those Sunday experiences. But you'll be hearing more about that in the coming weeks. We'll send that link out um, early next week so that you can register for our Christmas experiences. Um, I wanted to bring to your attention something we do um, every year here at Genesis, and that is our annual Christmas offering. Every year we receive an offering where every penny we receive goes right back out into our community. Um, we support needy families in our church. Um, we don't publicize that. We don't ever say who it was because we want to respect the privacy um, of those families. But um, when we have a sense or we hear that somebody may be going through a difficult season or they're struggling, um, we don't want them to struggle alone at Christmas. So we try to do our best um, to resource families in our church. 
Um, and then we also partner with nonprofits in our community that are doing a great work. Um, and this year, um, we're going to continue our support of the Oklahoma City Dream Center, who's doing an incredible work um, in the inner city of Oklahoma City um, with food programs and clothing programs and reaching at-risk children. They do a great work, and we're so proud to come alongside them and partner with them. Uh, we're going to support the Oklahoma uh, or the Regional Food Bank of Oklahoma, um, who again have done just a great work and have seen their demand for services increase exponentially exponentially um, in this pandemic season that we've been in. So we're going to come alongside them and support them. And then the Eden Clinic, who we've been a partner with over the last several years, doing an incredible job um, offering uh, medical services to young women, um, many of them in crisis situations, um, empowering them with the resources and the encouragement that they need to choose life. Um, so it's our honor to come alongside them and partner with them once again. Um, but Ben, we, we realize this has been a difficult season for many, um, and we're just asking you to do what we ask you to do every year, pray and ask God. God, at what level would you want me to participate in this Christmas offering and just be obedient to God? Every gift, $10, $100, $1,000, makes a tangible difference in people's lives. And we want you to experience the joy of generosity. Jesus said it is more blessed to give than to receive. So again, there's no pressure in this. There's no manipulation in this. We don't believe in um, emotionally pressuring people um, when it comes to giving. Uh, because when you do, you, you lose out on the blessing that comes with it. If you give out of some sense of obligation or duty, we want you to know the joy of living generously. We want you to know the truth of Jesus' words. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Um, so we're just asking you this year to simply pray and ask God, God, at what level would you want me to participate? And then just do what God asks you to do, whether it's $10, $100, $1,000, $10,000, Every penny goes right back into our community to help people in need. So we love you guys. We look forward. Man, we so deeply appreciate your generosity. Um, we were able to supply not only the 25 uh, Thanksgiving baskets that we had committed ourselves to um, as part of our partnership with Central Elementary, but we actually had 31 Thanksgiving baskets that we were able to distribute to needy families, all because of you, all because of your faithfulness and generosity and your partnership with us here at Genesis, and we so deeply appreciate that. We love you guys. We pray that you have a great week. We look forward to seeing some of you here Sunday morning, but gathering with you in this digital space again Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. You guys have a great week.